Okay, so color grading is one of the most important aspects in cinematography. Let it be any cinematic film or documentary film or any other film for that matter. Color grading is very important to set the tone of the whole video. So in this particular video today, I'm gonna just tell you guys, is Color Finale worth it in 2018 or 19 when Final Cut Pro has released a very good color grading plugin in built with Final Cut Pro from 10.4 to 10.4.4. So in this video, I'm gonna just show the difference in the features, the price difference, the smoothness in workflow and all those other stuff. Okay, so long story short, I'm not going to talk like other YouTubers who are going to say that watch the whole video so that you guys know which one is better for you. I'm going to just tell it right now, straight away. So if you're just starting out into film editing and uh, video editing and all the stuff and if you plan to buy Final Cut Pro now in 2018 or 2019, then I don't think as you are a starter, as you are a beginner, Color Finale is any use for you because it is like $99 and it is like not cheap, not very costly either. But if you're just starting to film editing, the inbuilt plugin, the inbuilt features of Final Cut Pro, the inbuilt color editing features of Final Cut Pro is more than enough for you guys. And if you're just stepping up into the professional level, then I will suggest to go for Color Finale Pro because and only because that the workflow in Color Finale Pro is very very smooth as compared to that of the normal plugin of Final Cut Pro. Like feature wise they are almost identical. All the features of Final Cut Pro color gradient plugin is almost similar to that of the Color Finale Pro. However, when it comes to smoothness in workflow, some minor shortcuts, some minor details, some minute adjustments really make a difference in the whole video. So Color Finale Pro is actually a more smoother application as compared to the inbuilt plugin. Like there are some things like the curves are not exactly square in a normal Final Cut Pro plugin which is not exactly a deal breaker for normal beginners who are just starting out but when someone is at the professional level and they prefer a more smoother process where they actually are comfortable with the curves and all those other stuff then Color Final Pro is a bit smoother and better option for them like the interface in Inbuilt Color Finale Pro is a bit noobish, is a bit like for beginners, like you need to scroll down and all the stuff. Whereas in Color Finale Pro, it is in the horizontal fashion so that you guys can see all the options in the horizontal manner without having to take the time to scroll down and make sure that the effects are properly added and all the stuff. So I guess Color Finale Pro is a bit better in that process but there are some features in inbuilt plugin also which is better than color final pro and the vice versa is also true so there is no proper plugin there is no proper application which you can use if you are just starting out into film editing and video editing and you don't have any budget to buy a color external plugin after the huge amount for final cut pro then i would suggest to go only for final cut pro and not for color final pro However, if you are a professional and just planning to go to the professional level, then I would suggest to get Color Finale Pro, which is a bit better when it comes to the smoothness in workflow. And it will definitely save you some time in the whole process of video editing. So I'm gonna just give you some detailed explanation after this, where I'm gonna just talk about the price difference, where I'm gonna just talk about the features in detail, a little bit in detail, and the pros and cons of both Final Cut Pro in build plugin and for the Color Finale Pro plugins. And with that being said, oh yes, I forgot to get the intro for this video. So with that being said, Said, what's up guys special sammy here well then to your next video i hope you guys are having a great day and with that being said let's jump into the intro and let's just start it now let's talk of the price of both of these color finale starts at 99 dollars while the inbuilt plugin for Final Cut Pro comes at free of cost because it comes inbuilt in the Final Cut Pro software so you need to pay the price for only the software which is Final Cut Pro and whereas in Color Finale Pro, you need to pay both the price of the software as well as the price of the plugin. So the later end, the Color Finale Pro is a bit costlier when compared to the free plugin. Okay, so the inbuilt plugin in Final Cut Pro is actually available here, which is in the top right hand side of the FS control panel. Right around here, you need to click this and click on the options which you want to use for the color grading. And the Color Finale plugin is in the FS panel where you need to type Color Finale or find Color Finale in the panel and then drag the Color Finale onto the video and then go to the FS control panel and from there open controls and there and from there you can see all the options. Now adding an effect for both the plugins are very different because for the inbuilt plugin you need to just drag and drop which one you want to choose right here like the color board, color wheels, color curves, hue and saturation curves while for color finale pro there are horizontal options like this like the color wheels, curves, lot utility, six vectors, hue and saturation panel. So the first one we are going to talk about is the color board. Like in color finale the inbuilt plugin there are three options the color, saturation and exposure. While in the color final option, there are six vectors where you can just color grade it separately and there are color wheels like this. 
and in inbuilt plugin also there are color wheels which looks like this which are in the vertical fashion and it is a bit laggy when it comes to the smoothness in workflow and there are master options like mid tones shadows and the highlights and there are the similar options are there in the final cut pro version as well there are mid tones highlights and shadows and there is and there is a master panel for saturation also which is there for both the plugins now we are going to talk about the color curves in the email plugin the color curves are in the form of a rectangle and not in the form of a square which is the traditional method in most of the editing softwares so the smoothness in workflow for the inbuilt plugin might be a bit choppy or laggy when it comes to color grading in the curves while in color filler pro it is in the form of a square which is very efficient and also it is in the form of a horizontal pattern so that you guys can see all the curves at the same time at once while in the inbuilt plugin the curves are in the vertical fashion so you need to scroll down each and every time you want to change the curves in other colors now the next one which we are going to talk about is the hue and saturation curve it's a pretty simple curve like you can just selectively color each and every aspect of the video or the photo so just choose the color from this and then make separate points and just color grade it but I can say that the inbuilt plugin of Final Cut Pro is ahead of Color Final Pro for this particular purpose because the hue and saturation curve of the Color Final Pro does not have any kind of a color picker option or I cannot see any kind of a color picker options so color grading only one aspect only one color might be very difficult and you need to do it separately manually by making points in the curve now we're going to talk about the LUT utility LUT final in Final Cut Pro is a bit easier because we need to just choose the LUT utility option and then show LUTs and then you can see all the LUTs which is here in my computer at once and just compare it and then choose which one to apply on the clip. But the inbuilt plugin is a bit slower, much much slower I should say as compared to Color Finale Pro version because we need to choose a custom LUT from the FS panel and then drag and drop it onto the video and then from there we can choose the LUT option but we cannot see or preview any of the LUT so it is a bit problematic when it comes to previewing the LUT or choosing the LUT so I won't suggest to go for the inbuilt custom LUT option if you are going for the free one. Now we are going to talk about the smoothness in workflow. So smoothness in workflow in Final Cut Pro for the inbuilt plugin is a bit slower as compared to the smoothness in workflow for Color Finale Pro. Because Color Finale Pro everything is arranged in a horizontal fashion whereas in inbuilt plugin everything is arranged in a vertical fashion. Like here, whereas the inbuilt plugin everything is arranged in the vertical fashion which can be a bit slower. Moreover, you can see the wheels are in the horizontal fashion so making the adjustments in each of these different panels is a bit easier as compared to the inbuilt version. Moreover, you can selectively color grade using the six vectors. And the best thing is you can preview your LUTs. You can see which LUTs are there in, in your computer and how those will look in your computer. Play with it and do it accordingly. But for the other purpose, for the other scenario, it is not true because the custom LUT option of the inbuilt plugin is not good at all. And the last one is in the positive side of the inbuilt plugin which is the hue and saturation panel because there is a color picker option for the inbuilt plugin for the hue and saturation curves but in color finale pro there is no particular color picker option in the hue and saturation curves so that can be a little bit problematic when you are color grading but other than that color finale pro has a smoothest workflow as compared to the inbuilt plugin of final cut pro so it is up to you if you are just starting into filmmaking and don't want to invest in anything else then don't buy Colorfinale Pro as of now as you slowly gradually go to the professional level buy Colorfinale Pro because it will help you in your off flow. But if you are just starting out go for the inbuilt plugin it will get the job done. Thank you so much for watching guys hope you liked my video. So if you are into cinematography, filmmaking, videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff I do in my channel the free stuff, the transitions, the plugins, the alerts, the tutorials and all this other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the push notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time I make a new video. So let's just join our hands and make this family, make this community as big as we can and if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos, for the later videos, for the future videos Videos or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on Instagram at this particular link and I will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as I get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all this other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace